Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial for ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So in the previous tutorial, I explained it to you as to how we can go ahead and install the VMware tools. In this tutorial, we will be go going ahead and configuring each and everything. So just to, uh, to cover the basics, here we have the system settings, the root, whether it's available or busy system settings, you can go ahead and to change the background over here. I'll be changing it to something light so that it will be easier for you to see. So I'll just go ahead and select this. And after that you have the brightness unlock and you can go ahead and configure your, I'll just go ahead and keep it too fast and sensitivity would be this much and perfect. Okay, everything else is perfect. So just go ahead and configure and when you start it uh, for the first time, your Cal Linux, you can see it over here, the specific thing that your sound is turned off. So in order to turn it on, you need to go ahead and click mute. And then you can go ahead and increase its volume and no matter how much time you go ahead and make it, it will still be mute when you go ahead and start it because Kali needs to be quiet when you start it for the first time and we need to go ahead and get the source files first. So in order for me uh, us to go ahead and get the source file, I'll show you how to go ahead and first things we need to do is whether to check whether we have the correct repositories because if we don't have the correct repositories, then our system will break when updating. So you can go over here and set my computer file system, etc and we have apt that's aptitude and the source list we have it over here and by default this will open in vim and I don't actually support vim so I'll go ahead and change it to let's see what we have we have leaf pad over here so I'll set it as default close and it will open with default perfect I'll just over wrap it so we can as you can see that we have one okay we have these or specific we have only one you can say as one specific repository but we need all of these which we have officially from Cal Linux sometimes they don't update it so as soon as you open your browser that is ice weasel you will see Kali docs over here just click on that if you're connected to internet it will stay away take you to over there so let me check if I have I think so we I have the connection on let it load perfectly Okay, so once you have it over, you can see Kali uh, source list repositories. Just click over here. So as you can see that we have three repositories over here. One for the regular repositories, that means the updates. One, uh, one are the source repositories, that means any extra installation that you need other than the operating system that has in its default, you will get it over here. And these are the bleeding edge. You won't need the bleeding edge until unless you are a developer. And since you are watching this tutorial, I will believe that you are not a developer and you are just trying to learn uh, Cal Linux or hacking. So we need only these two repositories. So what I would be doing, I'll just select each and everything, delete. And um, since this is a period LIST file, uh, if I go ahead and type pound, it will go ahead and convert that into a specific comment. So I'll just type uh, and I'll go ahead and copy it regular repositories. I'll paste it over here and I'll go ahead and copy these two repository links and I'll paste it and then I'll type source repositories and I will go ahead and copy everything from over here and I'll paste it perfect and just one thing uh, most of these people uh, people out there don't know about this just in case you want to speed up your updating process just go ahead and convert uh, this HTTP to REPO I can just go ahead and copy the same and paste it over here and save it and when you go ahead and try to update you will get much better speed because it will go ahead and try to get its latest network mirror then directly downloading from the source web server. So once we have it I'll just close open this terminal and since we need to go ahead and update we don't need to type if you are a Linux user previously you might be wondering that you need to type sudo that means super user do every time to go ahead and get a root access but as you can see we have already the root access over here root at the red Kali so we don't need to type sudo every time we can straight away type whatever we want and it will directly run through root so I need to go ahead and get the update so I'll just type apt hyphen get space update that means aptitude get update so it will go ahead and check all the updates that it has connect to its web server and give me back the result whether there are any updates or not so by the time it's getting updated I'll let you know about some few other things that is installing this on MacBook Pro which I have not yet taught it to you 
I've only let you know as to how we can go ahead and install uh, this normally and we also have to check the uh, live USB version as to how we can go ahead and install that as well. So and also we have the persistence inside that. So just let this update. And just remember that unlike Windows over here we cannot install multiple things at one time we need to install one at a time so that its source does not break else it will break that's the reason so just let it complete By that time, the time it gets uh, it, uh, all the updates, I'll show you a few other things. You can check applications over here. We have several things you can go ahead and notice. We have the Arduino chip that's Android programming just in case you uh, wanted to hack into Android. And these are a few different things that we can see over here. The best part over here is Cal Linux. It has more than you can say as uh, 200 tools for hacking each for a specific purpose so that means uh, if you have Cal Linux then you know how to use it that means half of you you have almost half of your hacking knowledge that's how it will be it has included Ruby and Python installation and as well as Perl so you don't need to go ahead and install it separately to start Python just in case you can just type Python and it will start the Python 2.7 version just by default if you want anything else then you can go ahead and select that as well so you need to go ahead and right click edit menus and in order to activate the python version you can go ahead and select it from over here 2.7 and 3.2 the normal version which we will use and this is the default ice weasel if you want you can go ahead and install tor browser as well just to go ahead and browse safely and securely and these are the ham radios the radio chirp and these are the wireshock which we would use for sniffing and spoofing Ether cap and uh, which I would be teaching you later on. So as you can see that we have several tools. These are the top 10 security tools which we have over here. Air crack ng to go and crack wireless hacking. Burp suit to crack password. John the Ripper. Maltigo to gather information and Metasploit is the best that we could ever uh, use. SQL map and Wireshock again and Nmap for OS fingerprinting and stuff. And then we have for information gathering we have D uh, DNS analysis. We have all of these things in which I consider ZenMap and DNS Tracer the best. We have intrusion detection, identification, live. So you can see that now you can understand that why uh, Cal Linux is far different from any other operating system we have ever seen. I believe we have all the headers. Okay. So this is one of the reasons that it has n number of tools. So you can say it has all the tools that any person can need to go ahead and do anything. Routing analysis, vulnerability, web application, passwords. Beat anything from the social engineering to exploitation, it has everything. So as you can see, uh, coming back to our updates, we have, it has checked all the updates and let's check if we have any upgrades, that means any updates. So I can go and apt get upgrade. We have 433 MB of updates that we need, which I would not be updating as of now. Or if you want, you can also go and type distribution update upgrade. And okay, we have a total of 730 MB of files which will update each and everything. And I won't be installing that because it will take a very long time. So no. And I'll also go ahead and type install a few things that I would need. That would be GEDIT. That's an editor. Okay, pretty get install GEDIT. And yes, it's a 4 MB file. It will take quite a bit, I believe, to go ahead and install that. So by that time, I'll let you know as to how we can go ahead and install MacBook. Uh, this is it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll be teaching you about installing a Cal Linux on MacBook Pro and configuring it.